Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in the seventh video of buyback chapter, we are going to solve another silent question of buyback where the number of shades to buyback is not given in the question. We have to find that out. All the question will say is that you have to go for maximum buyback. And another important thing about this question is that here the buyback price is given in the question. Okay, only uh, the number of shares is silent. Buyback price is given. All right. Still, we have to do all the three tests and find out, uh, you know, the number of shares. Fine. So let's read the question and let's start. See here. The following information is available from the balance sheet of Everest Company Limited as on 31st March 2023. Share capital subscribed and fully paid up 1,20,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each, 12 lakhs. Okay. Reserve and surplus, general reserve 18 lakhs, securities premium 6 lakhs. In total, the reserves and surplus are 24 lakhs. Total of secured and unsecured loan 36 lakhs. Okay. This is the debt. On the above date, equity shares are bought back by the company to the extent possible. See, they are talking about maximum buyback to the extent possible as per section 68 subsection 2 of the Companies Act 2013 at a premium of rupees 40 per share. Now, don't get confused. Rupees 40 is not the buyback price. Rupees 50 is the buyback price. Okay. Rupees 40 is the premium. Face value is 10. Nah? So 10 plus 40, that's 50. 50 is the buyback price. Okay, fine. You are required to give the journal entries to give the effect of the buyback and also show all workings. Fine. So that's the question. Let's see the solution now. Let's see how this will be solved. Really simple and straightforward. Now, see here we have the solution. Let's understand how our technique will be. It's really simple. First, we don't know how many shares we have to buy back. So that is why we need to calculate that first calculation of maximum number of equity shares to be bought back at the buyback price which is rupees 50 per share fine okay so you all know in the tests we have three tests available resource test shares outstanding test and debt equity ratio test the meaning the logic everything i have explained completely in the previous video okay here we'll go a little bit faster okay so after doing all these three tests what do you get you get number of shares number of shares and number of shares and the lowest of these three will be available for buyback okay that will be the maximum number of shares you can buy back fine simple and straightforward so in resource test what do you do you take 25 percent of equity share capital free reserves and securities premium the equity okay here the meaning of equity will be this equity share capital free reserves and securities premium so if you see into the question equity share capital is how much 12 lakhs okay paid up equity share capital and then free reserve is the general reserve over here that's 18 lakhs and securities premium 6 lakh okay so see 12 lakh plus 18 lakh plus 6 lakhs that's equal to 36 lakhs so 36 lakhs into 0 0.25 yeah 25 percent that's equal to 9 lakhs so 9 lakhs will be the maximum outflows here 25 percent of 12 plus 18 plus 6 that's 36 25 percent of 36 that's equal to 9 lakh so 9 lakh is the total outflow that you can have maximum total outflow you can have for the buyback okay this is the maximum money you have available for the buyback according to the companies act fine so to convert that in form of number of shares right what you have to do you have to divide this 9 lakhs by the buyback price okay so 9 lakh divided by 50 that's equal to 18,000 let's see 9 lakh divided by 50 that's equal to sorry 18,000 yeah 18,000 shares it's 18,000 shares fine so the resource test is complete then you have shares outstanding test now shares outstanding test is very simple just take 25 percent of outstanding shares that's it okay see the concept a company cannot buy back more than 25 percent of number of shares issued or outstanding same thing fine so 25 percent of outstanding shares how many outstanding shares are there in the balance sheet of this company Everest company 1,20,000 equity shares right 1,20,000 equity shares into 25% that's equal to 30,000 shares okay 1,20,000 shares into 0 0.25 that's equal to 30,000 shares right so 30,000 shares are the maximum shares you can buy back according to shares outstanding test fine after this we have to move on to the debt equity ratio test see it's really simple you already know how to do this yeah i have explained this properly in the previous video what do you have to do first you have to take the debt 
debt is equal to 36 lakh this is the shortcut method okay 36 lakhs it's given in the balance sheet right see here total of secured and unsecured loan that's equal to 36 lakhs understand now huh? here debt means what secured unsecured short term and long term everything will come under the debt okay fine so debt is 36 lakh and then you have to take the target equity what is target equity target equity is just half of the debt 36 lakhs divide by 2 that's equal to 18 lakhs okay so target equity is 18 lakhs this is the you know least equity that you have to maintain after the buyback okay so that's the target equity because you need 2 is to 1 ratio now isn't it yes existing equity is how much you have to check that in the balance sheet okay 12 plus 18 plus 6 what does equity mean over here i've already told you paid up equity share capital free reserves and securities premium okay 12 plus 18 plus 6 that's equal to 36 lakhs that's the existing equity fine always it will not be like this okay 36 and 36 it will not be like that okay it's, it's just a coincidence and then you have to see the difference between target equity and existing equity existing equity is 36 lakhs and the target equity is 18 lakhs the least equity that you can have after the buyback so the maximum reduction in equity that can happen is how much 18 lakhs from 36 to 18 means what 18 lakhs now so maximum reduction that can happen is 18 lakhs now this reduction will happen because of two things understand you are going for buyback but because of buyback what will happen see because of buyback you will need to create crr okay you will need to create crr and that will be created you know uh, for the face value and then you're doing buyback also now you have to cancel your existing share capital and you have to pay extra to the uh, shareholders also so because of that also your equity that securities premium will reduce now you will use that and free reserves also to write off the uh, premium on redemption so reduction in equity this 18 lakh is happening because of crr and buyback okay 10 rupees and this 50 rupees so in that ratio you can distribute this 18 lakh into crr and the money that you can uh, take for buyback okay so just use that ratio 10 is to 50 okay face value and buyback price ratio face value and let me just write that it will be better okay face value and buyback price okay this is the ratio 10 is to 50 so 0 0 cancel that's equal to 1 is to 5 so use this ratio 1 is to 5 to distribute uh, this 18 lakh in CRR and maximum amount that is available for buyback okay so 18 lakh into 1 by 6 that's equal to 3 lakh okay 3 lakh will be transferred to CRR if we go according to debt equity ratio test and maximum amount available for buyback is how much 18 lakh into 5 by 6 let's just put that in calculator 18 lakhs into 5 divided by 6 that's equal to 15 lakhs okay the remaining amount so 15 lakhs will be available for buyback now you have to convert this in form of shares understand everything will be converted in form of shares okay number of shares number of shares number of shares so you have done the calculation you got the amount that you have available for buyback according to debt equity ratio test which is 15 lakhs now you have to convert that in form of number of shares how will you do that really simple you have the buyback price now just use that okay so 15 lakh divide by 50 okay 15 lakhs divide by 50 that's equal to 30,000 shares so according to debt equity ratio test maximum how much shares you can buy back 30,000 shares is it clear simple and straightforward understood now what you have to do is you have to compare debt equity ratio test is saying 30,000 shares uh, shares outstanding test is saying 30,000 shares and resource test is saying 18,000 shares which is the least the least is this one right the lower of three now 18 30 30 so 18,000 shares so the answer would be what 18,000 share the company can buy back therefore the company can buy back 18,000 equity shares at rupees 50 as the buyback price okay simple and straightforward I hope you have understood this it was really easy okay fine now let's go to the journal entries okay now before going on to the general entries understand the equation equity share capital plus premium on buyback is equal to equity shareholders right so how many shares are we buying back 18,000 shares right so 18,000 shares into 10 face value that's 1,80,000 that's the capital we are going to buy back and cancel and then the 
extra money that we are going to pay to equity shareholder is how much rupees 40 per share so rupees 40 into 18000 shares uh, that's equal to how much 7 lakh 20000 premium extra money that we are going to pay okay in total 720 plus 1 lakh 80000 that's equal to 9 lakhs okay so the 9 lakh will be paid to equity shareholder in total is that clear right now what's the first thing that you are going to do first you're going to make the payment due to uh, equity shareholders right and then the second thing is you are going to write off this loss this extra money that you are paying premium on buyback this seven lakh twenty thousand now how can you write that off you all know we can write that off using securities premium and free reserves first priority securities premium so see in securities premium in the question we have six lakhs right so we can utilize this completely to write off uh, that right so securities premium is utilized completely six lakhs still we need one lakh twenty thousand extra isn't it six lakh minus seven lakh twenty that's one lakh twenty extra so that extra one lakh twenty has to come out of free reserves okay so free reserve we have now general reserve 18 lakhs so we'll utilize general reserve by one lakh twenty thousand is that clear so both of these reserves are decreasing you will have to debit that and you know uh credit the loss and uh, write it off okay fine we'll see the general entry don't worry and then we have the capital that needs to be replaced isn't it so that can be done either through fresh issue but the question is silent regarding fresh issue so we are not doing that and then we have free reserves right creation of crr from free reserves we can create crr fine so we have general reserve 18 lakh we have used somewhat here but still we have lot more in that so we can use the general reserve by one lakh eighty thousand and create crr of one lakh eighty thousand okay so that's what uh, has been done and you know the capital is replaced is that clear simple and straightforward so this is the thing this is the entire thing and then at last the payment will be made fine so this was the equation the rough calculation now let's see the general entries now see here we have the general entries really simple and straightforward the first is the due entry equity share capital account debit your cancelling of the capital by debiting it right equity share capital account debit one lakh eighty thousand and then you're recording a loss okay premium on buyback account is getting debited because you're recording the loss okay seven lakh twenty thousand and then you are crediting a liability account okay two equity share buyback account a personal liability account to the shareholders you can also take over here two equity shareholders account fine you have debited these two accounts and then you are crediting nine lakhs that you are accepting as a company that we have to pay nine lakhs to the equity shareholders is it clear simple first is the due entry being money due to equity shareholders the second is uh, writing of premium on redemption this loss which you have debited over here that has to be written off okay here it was debited you make an equal credit of how much seven lakh twenty here it was seven lakh twenty now so seven lakh twenty thousand and then you will debit whatever you have utilized to write off securities premium by six lakh now so sp six lakhs and then general reserve one lakh twenty thousand so that's uh, you know uh, premium on buyback is written off being premium on buyback written off fine and then the third entry is uh, you know creation of CRR right you have utilized general reserve by 1 lakh 80 thousand and you have created CRR now understand both of these things CRR and GR are reserves both have credit balance GR is decreasing so you will debit that general reserve account debit 1 lakh 80 thousand and CRR is increasing you are creating the CRR so you will credit that to capital redemption reserve 1 lakh 80 thousand being CRR created to the extent of face value of the shares we have bought back okay this is the extent of the face value now 18,000 shares we have bought back face value is 10 18,000 into 10 that's 1 lakh 80 thousand only the face value needs to be replaced by creation of CRR or fresh issue okay not this this will be written off fine and then at last the entry would be of the payment okay you have paid off the equity shareholders so see it's really simple equity share buyback account here it was credited here the liability was arisen right we have to pay now you are paying it off so liability has to be finished off it has to be cancelled it needs to be extinguished so equity share buyback account debit or you can also say equity shareholders account debit to bank account nine lakhs nine lakhs okay being payment made to equity shareholders for your buyback really simple and straightforward okay simple four general entries the main thing is not this 
the general entries and everything is really simple the main thing was the calculation the workings of the tests okay this thing fine and sometimes the question may also ask you post uh, debt equity ratio not the test ratio exact ratio they will ask so in that case what you have to do the debt will be same only you have to calculate the equity after the buyback you have to calculate the equity after the buyback and then just divide debt divided by the post buyback equity you will get the uh, post buyback uh, debt equity ratio is that clear simple and straightforward if you have any doubts then please uh, comment down below or you can also message me on instagram okay so that's it for this video see you in the next video bye